Hey folks, do you want to win an all expense paid vacation? Enjoy deluxe accommodation? <laughs> Luxury spas and hair salons. <laughs> A warm welcome from hospitable local people. Indulge in regional delicacies, strictly organic. I think if they want to market it, they should probably take the ants out first. <laughs> A chance to engage in traditional sports. Okay, okay, it won't be pina coladas and infinity pools. This trip isn't about tourism, but journalism. And there's a brothel right there, right? Yeah. For the fifth time, I'm holding a win a trip contest to choose a student to travel with me to the developing world. Got some helpers there? Yeah. Now, in the past, I had a lot of indignant complaints from older folks saying, why just a student? Well, given the difficulties in the news business, I've decided the customer is always right. So in addition to a student, for the first time, I'm also going to choose somebody from the over 60 crowd. On the first trip, I traveled with a Mississippi student named Casey Parks. I'm not a girly girl, but I'm not exactly a seasoned hiker like Nick Kristoff. Now, Casey had never been outside the U.S. before. We encountered gorillas and elephants in the Central African Republic. Our vehicle was stopped by armed bandits on a remote track. And most poignant of all, we tried to help a mother of three dying in childbirth. We donated money and blood to try to save her life. But our efforts failed, and we were brokenhearted as we watched her dying. On the second trip, I traveled with Lena Wen, a medical student from Washington University. We met Rwanda's president and admired his country's economic boom. And in Congo, we had dinner with a warlord. And what do you call a warlord? Mr. Warlord? Your honorable warlord? And then met people starved by the depredations of his soldiers. For the third trip, I traveled with Paul Bowers of the University of South Carolina. We reported on pneumonia in Senegal, trachoma and other causes of blindness in Guinea, and the tentative rise of Liberia from the ashes of conflict. I think in the end, what we're looking for is the truth, and sometimes the truth is tough to talk about. For the fourth trip, I traveled with Mitch Smith from the University of Kansas. He had only one serious shortcoming. He towered over me. We saw the efforts to build a tourism industry in beautiful Gabon. We came across swimming hippos, monkeys, and, with the help of our guide, small antelope. Then we traveled across wretched roads in the Congo Republic. We visited schools and hospitals. Here were these beautiful young babies with the ability to one day do great things. Yet some of them were born to parents without the means to educate them or give them access to proper medical care. Now for the fifth trip, I invite you to apply to join me so that together we can bring back some of these stories that are so often neglected.